this is Shroud of the Avatar. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is release um, 8, I think. Yeah, release 8 of Shroud of the Avatar. And this is one we have the first issuings of a PvP thing going on. And I've played it already and it's really, really good system. So what you got all these tiles are popping up. These are all come up random and then you can click on them. But what you do, you set your um with the skill trees and deck built deck building. So it's pretty much like what you do in um pretty much oh, I won't be able to do it for some Now I can modify. Pretty much like you're doing Secret World, so these are all my magic spells and you can put up to 20 cards in and if you don't put 20 cards in then you get slugs which are um, blank cards but you still get slugs if you've got lots of armour on and stuff like that protection you get uh, slugs put in the deck because you're running protect a lot of protection whereas I haven't got much protection so I've just got leather armour on rather than full plate um, as in um, the Mad Hermit's guide, which I'll link in the in the description in my video. If you look down the link, uh, it'll get, give a great description of uh, what to do with all this. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna have a bit of fun and uh, let you watch. So with this focus thing, this this affects this hand size, which allows me to have more tabs and hand, and um, allows me to either draw faster on the cards and discard them faster so they disappear on this this HUD quicker and faster and they come back faster so it's really good and then you can just pick your um, so how many times you click on it so you've uh, five fire arrows I can have five fire arrows in the um, in the deck uh, two highly flammables and five fireballs I've got there I don't seem to be able to get the f fire in them it says you require a ring of fire, but I can't see that. I've got those two. But it's really good. It is really original. It's, it is very much like Secret World, because you've got these cards. Um, but the way it comes up when you're playing... So if I go into combat stance now, all the cards start to pop up so then I can use them. Obviously I'm not in a... I'm not in a combat zone, so and I haven't got anybody selected, so I can't select NPCs. So yeah, that's really good. And this is like the um, he's like gatekeeper to the PVP zone, and you get to the PVP zone. So when you see him, you'll know um, there's a PVP zone nearby because you've got no map. You know, from going into this, well, this is King Sport, where I've been in before many of my other videos on Sota. Um, Taylor looks really cool. Um, so you just click on the boats. Okay, yeah. So we'll get into some PvP. See if I can. I've won uh, two battles out of about ten, <laughs> so I'm not doing very good. But I've really enjoyed. So here we are on a PvP zone. Let's see what happens. See how long it takes me to get killed. Somebody's already dead. See, there's a four elemental. That gives you a bigger buff, that does. So oh, everybody's buggering off. <laughs> That's a good start. Was it something I said? Oh, we're going to scrap over there, are they? This is the break. This is one of the um, islands for people with houses. Which I haven't got. If you want to pay, spend 500 quid on a house, you're welcome. See, it's after me, he is. <laughs> Nothing seems to be working. Oh, 
I'm already nearly dead. That's not working well. Perhaps I've got to take my sword off. Oh, I killed him. He's dead. <laughs> I'm fucking dead as well. That's <laughs> that then. <laughs> well, I killed somebody there. I'm pleased about that. He's got that fire mental going. And then you just have to wait quite a while for you to respawn, which is a bit off. I'm not sure I need my um, sword, I have to take that off. So I just killed somebody else. Forgot to, <laughs> forgot to turn the recording on. He's rude me now. The targeting is a bit of a problem. Evidently you can jump out of it. <laughs> He's hitting me. He's not even near me. Oh, he's killed me. He's doing well. Pole arms, evidently, um... Uh, get through armour, so... What's that? Ithikai. That's the one I knocked down. Oh, go on, kill him. Go on, my girl. The only problem is you got you got quite a wait between um, dying. <laughs> so at that moment, using the fireballs, I wasn't having much fun with um, my other deck. I've got three decks now. Uh, mainly the other ones were to do with sword fighting, but I <laughs> didn't seem to be doing well at all with that. Um, Oh, they're running down the coast now. <laughs> it is very good, actually. It's quite exciting. I think I'm suffering from a lot of lag. Uh, being in the UK, it's, the ping times is really pretty bad. I don't stand a chance when he's got that elemental. I don't know how to get that out. You can self heal. I'm dead already. I mean, people are going to post their best uh, decks and then we'll just copy them. I don't know what's going to happen then. That's because everybody's going to be uh, the same then. But it is really, I think the combat's really good. Well, where'd you, where'd you get the ring of fire from? For the elemental, that's what I want to know. I can't get it, it's not bad. It looks really good though, don't it, the combat? I think I am suffering from ping though. Not being in the States, I notice it. Everything's laggy. Only getting 13 frames a second. Now I don't know whether that was a good idea to um I can't beat the guy with the fire elemental. He's the king. I nearly beat this guy. When I'm just spamming everything. I've got everything linked to one button on my controller. There we go, that's worked. Oh, look at that, he's... He's, uh, zapped me there. I need to heal up. Run! That's it, I'm dead. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> so 
So this is PvP in Shroud of the Avatar and it is really good. I'm really surprised. I was getting worried about this game. But now this I'm just gonna make the actual single player better as well, I think. Spawning in seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I need to look at my deck again. So that don't work. <laughs> Oh, we've gone up in the house. So this is one of the uh, player islands. So this is all player island. It's got uh, all houses for the players. People can have their own houses. So there's arsehole. <laughs> it's going to bash me again. The elemental is like another person, so I don't know where you get that. I'm not sure if I could cast spells while I've got my um so I can just swap out um, let's have a look. So if I just swap out the deck, it will change my um. Now I've lost that. That all the information in that deck's lost. When I made a new deck, so I don't know why that is. Because I had a deck there for um. Armor and uh, sword and shield, so I've lost that. Perhaps I've got too many fireballs and uh, fire arrows. Perhaps that's not working. But I like it. It gives you a chance to... Um, he's going to attack me. I'm not ready. I'm looking at me shit. <laughs> Fire elemental makes it too easy for the other player. <laughs> Fire elemental is too strong. can do this when you're dead evidently. So let's put um I don't know if that'll make any difference. I've got a shield somewhere. Let's go again then. The trouble is selecting. When you get too far away, deselects. You got the added problem. There's that lag again. Look, I've got a terrible lag. I think that's half my problem. <laughs> uh, how much points did I get off of her? 
I didn't too bad. I got her, got her down quite away there. She's got that other bloody. She didn't have that fire elemental. I'd have probably won that. The question is, how do you get the fire elemental? We'll have a look later. So here's another PvP zone. Uh, this is over in uh, Kingsport near the um, edge of the docks. See the sun is just starting to come up. Looks really cool. The lighting in here is is fantastic. It really is. Looks absolutely lovely. So the sun just rising up over the horizon. And we've got another PvP zone. Not sure if it's in the basement or where it is. It's down there, I think. Enter an over P PvP zone. There we go. Let's have a look. PvP City Arena. That's what we asked. I mean, we did ask for. Um, when I specifically put a post about having arenas in towns and and like having a tournament, like every six months or whatever. So I won't be able to PvP if nobody's down here. Yeah? Mm, it's dark, can't see. There's probably nobody down here. Yeah? Don't look like it. So that, this is the PvP zone, but um, obviously none of us here. This is the same one that I watched the video of Mad Hermit, which you can look in the description, was in. Um, so I'm going to get out of here. Well, like I say, it'd be good if there's lots of people watching <laughs> and there's, and there's uh, fights going on and people are challenging, you know. If there was a proper system for um, a league or something like that, that'd be really neat. Especially for people like me, I'm <laughs> very good at it and we can watch other people fighting. So what I've got to do now is get on the, get on the, uh, how can I get through there? I've got to get an, um, got a pill for somebody else's deck. See what they're doing. How do we get out of here? I can't see the way out. Let me out. Oh well, stuck here forever. As usual. Sota, and then it's um, a lot better than it was. Uh, eventually, you'll be able to see your own little character running around. At the moment, we've just got this placeholder. Um, so you can see where I was before um, with the PvP thing, which is the big red crosses up. Um, So this is how you move about, and each on the map it's like a Sim City um, civilization. You've got a hex, which is about this size, and each one contains a map that is very big. 
So it gives it a huge potential for a massive amount of content, um, extra content. This isn't a um, a world like Guild Wars 2 where everything's all in one world. This is uh, hex by hex, so and a hex isn't much bigger than that. Well, I'm r running my um, mouse around. So each town is a hex. So these are probably player towns. So we'll have to go into this PvP area. Um, this is one I was in before. It's lots, and there's no buildings and stuff. So it's just the forest. Makes it better for duking it out. It's daylight now, so we don't need that. I can't think uh, fighting. <laughs> Fighting in um, night would it be any fun whatsoever? Because it's quite dark. So, let's see if anybody's here. Probably wrong time of day now. Well, it's uh, five o'clock in England, so it's it's midnight probably in America. <laughs> uh, I think is it. So it's just me, myself and I by the look of it. So we'll have to come back another time. But this has been my first PvP video. And my first video, because I didn't do any videos for uh, Release 7. Because I thought it's very much like Release 6 and there was nothing really to really show anybody. So this has been the first put my foot in with the uh, PvP combat. And it's been very, very interesting. Uh, surprisingly, because I was getting worried about the game. Um, I backed it. I mean, I don't mind. If, you know, if the game never even came out, I've had a lot of fun with it. But uh, they surprised me with this uh, combat system and this deck building, especially with all this popping up and popping down. Um, not that it really affects me because at the moment I've got everything spammed on one button on the Xbox controller using X pad. So I'm just spamming. Perhaps that's where I'm going wrong. I'll be need to be more specific because the first one that's ready will fire, I pres presume. So using your Xbox controller and spamming everything to one, you know, uh, like you do with macros do the same thing on the Xbox controller spam everything to one button yeah it's deserted so that's the end of this video thanks for watching this is Beganicon signing out and I will probably do another one before the end of the weekend hopefully although I've got to work Sunday so you never know maybe Sunday night alright thanks for watching cheers bye